Your brother Casey's evil! Oh, no, he's not evil! Ah, he is evil! He stole my dog Douglas! No, he did! He's not the creepy guy! Oh, Thanks for saving me, Melvin, even though you're actually just saving the turtle, Flukas. Chocolate's probably not good for their health. And yours either. And I just cut this shirt too. I got Sorry, Melvin. Change up again. You suck! Oh! At least Flukas is okay. Check this out. Oh, there he is! Don't change the subject, your brother's evil. Today, I'm gonna prove that the creepy guy, this guy, he is your brother, and he stole you. Douglas, he's <laughs> evil. No, Daniel, I know Casey, he's a good guy. I will prove to you today that my brother is a good guy. I'm on Daniel's side. Peesh. Yeah, he's been doing some weird stuff. I'm over on this side. Oh, I see. Oh, come on. So it's the smart ones versus the dum-dums. <laughs> oh. Good, sorry, I told you guys dum-dums. But I'll prove to you that my brother is good right now. Come on, guys, we gotta prove that Chad's brother Casey is a bad guy. He's doing this for your own good, Chad. He's in denial. Think, think. How are we gonna prove that that weird, creepy <laughs> dude is Chad's brother? Maybe we could prove that he actually did take Douglas, and that'll prove that he's evil, and you'll get your dog back. How are we gonna find Douglas? He could be anywhere in Vegas. You use that Douglas statue, right? There was a Douglas statue with a QR code. We have it around here somewhere. Over here. This guy, look, on the bottom is a QR code. I scanned it and I FaceTimed with Douglas and he could hear me. Maybe if I do it again, I can see where he's at. Be careful though, because I'm sure it doesn't go to Douglas's phone. It might go to Casey's phone instead. I'm gonna call it and then I'm gonna duck out of the frame and see if it picks up. Let's scan this guy. Oh yeah, it's calling, it's calling. Okay. Perfect. Wait a minute, that's Douglas, that's Douglas. He's walking in the, in, in the green grass. Wait, that looks like the park nearby. Yeah, you can see the playground structure or something. Douglas is at the park right now? Douglas, hang Douglas, up, huh? hang up. Oh my gosh, today is the day I'm finally reunited with Douglas. Let's go, let's do this. Yeah, and then we can prove that Chad's brother is really evil. Yeah, because yeah. I bet that creepy dude is there right now. Okay, okay, we're here. Uh, How do we find Douglas? Right. He could be in here, maybe. Well, there's a lot of dogs today. Look at those little guys. Guys, if you see Douglas, you know he looks like by now. Little plump brown fellow. Well, he wouldn't be here in the large dog area. He's probably in the small dog. All right, I'm gonna call that number again and see if Douglas is still here. Douglas, oh, there he is, there he is. <gasps> he looked up, he looked up. Oh, hi, Dougie boy. Hi, Douglas. Oh, wait, what's happening, what's happening? Oh no, they're picking Douglas up. You put him in a, a cage thing. Okay, shoot, all right. So we know to look for Chad's brother. Blonde hair, blue jacket, probably tall like Chad. Well, oh, there's a small dog park over there. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Is that, I think that's him. That's definitely him. He's got the blonde hair, but I don't see Douglas next to him. He's covering something up. It looks like a carrier of some sort. C cage thingy. <gasps> Yeah, it's a perfect size for a little French bulldog like Douglas. He's covering him up. Okay, we have to prove that Douglas is indeed in that little cage right there. I know how. There's only one dog in the world that can smell. Douglas's favorite food in the whole wide world is these dog-friendly meatballs. Oh, I have a ew. bunch. Just you can, right you in your pocket? You can probably like smell them from far away. I smell them right now. Ew, Daniel. If you can smell them right now, dogs have an amazing sense of smell. So, I'm gonna throw one near the cage and see if whatever is in the cage reacts. Hey right, Douglas, if this is you, I got a little treat for you. Here, Douglas. Oh, it's right next to the cage. I'll throw another one. Nice. Did you hear that? I hear some barking. It's so is that Douglas's bark? I don't know, I'm gonna throw another one. Ready? Oh, oh. oh shoot, I hit the guy. Oh my gosh, did he, did he notice? Oh, he's looking. Oh, he noticed. He's taking it. Daniel. He's taking Douglas. I think Douglas is inside. We gotta we got follow him. We gotta go, come on. Should I throw another one at him? No, no, no. I mean, 
This has got to be Casey, right? This proves to Chad your brother Casey is an evil person. Do we even know what the real Casey looks like? All we've ever seen is this dude with the skeleton gloves. I've never seen his brother before. The Spy Ninjas have a good idea. In Chad and V's wedding video, the Spy Ninjas commented below that Casey's in there and we could take a good look at him. Yeah, we can put the two pictures side by side and compare. Is that actually Chad's brother? Well, here, this is their infamous wedding video. <laughs> That's Casey. Obviously Casey would be there. He's Chad's best man. Well, Casey dressed up extra special that day. He doesn't really look like the guy we're following well, around. Well, he's not wearing a hat. He's not wearing gloves. Like You can barely see him in real life yeah, right now. True. Maybe he grew his hair out, too. Yeah, does he have blonde hair? It's like brownish. It could be lighter. I don't know. Maybe he dyed it. Well, I still think that guy over there is Casey. There's only one way to reveal that guy's true identity. Whenever Chad calls his brother, it always goes to this guy we're following. But he sits in the chair. He has like the hat. The same hair, the gloves. This is his brother, right? Unless I don't know. That statue we found wasn't left behind by anybody we know. So what if that QR code is just this random guy's number? We haven't even seen if that's the same number that Chad has in his phone. I mean, if he's a bad guy, he probably knows how to hack or has multiple phones. Cause that's sus. Whoever the heck this guy is, he has Douglas. That's all I'm concerned about. Okay, do you see him? Where do you go? Oh, there he is. There he is. Wait, stop. He took a break over there. Douglas. This would be a perfect opportunity. His back is towards us. We can see what's in the cage. Right? But how can we do that without him noticing? We need to open the cage, take Douglas without him knowing. But then once he picks up the cage again, it's going to be light. And then he's going to notice. He's going to come after us. Well, you have that QR code, right? What if I uh, prank call him? So he'll be on his phone and I'll give you guys the opportunity to go and check it out. That's good. I got his number saved here. Here, airdrop it. I'll call him. You figure out how you're gonna get close to that cage. Okay, Melvin. All right, Regina. We gotta find something to replace that cage as like a decoy or something. Okay, you need something, you know, shaped like this. Use your detective skills. <gasps> Janera, I got an idea. What is it, Gizmo? We need to find something, correct? Yes. Well, you know what they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Let's take a look. Daniel! Oh my gosh! Daniel! Nothing's in there. Could have just looked. Daniel sent me the QR code so I can call this guy up. Now I just need to think of a good way to distract him long enough so that Daniel and Regina can pull off their plan. Hello? Hello, I'm calling to ask about your car's extended warranty and if you're interested in uh, increasing the warranty for another couple minutes. Uh, my name is... Pee-pee-poo-poo-pee-pee-poo-poo! Uh, uh, this is one of the worst prank phone calls I've heard. Get a life, loser. Ah, uh, he hung up on me. Okay, not a good one. Uh, uh, let me try again. I got another one. Janera, I'm going in. Oh Yo! It's fresh. Oh wow. Nothing. No treasure. It's too early. No one's throwing any trash away. <gasps> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, the BTS meal! Someone got the BTS meal! Yeah. But there's no, we need something that's like shaped like the thing he has, you know? Something we can drape the white cloth over and he'll never know it's missing. This is too big. The large stick. Daniel, that's my run. Dude, I que lindo. <laughs> this is perfect. It's a cardboard box. Hey, if we drape the white cloth over this, it'll look exactly like that. This will work, but dang it, now we just need like a white cloth to drape over it. So it matches that creepy dude's dog cage. Yeah, where are we gonna get a white cloth from? Uh. What do we do? Uh, what do we do? Oh, oh! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Milky! <gasps> hey! Home slice! Yeah, we're gonna need you to take your shirt off. Again? Regina, this is the only shirt you have in your disguise bag? Jonas Brothers? Yes. Red dress. <laughs> yes, my favorite boy band. Nick, Joe, and Kevin. It looks really good on you. We're gonna go over there and steal his cage with the white thing on it. We're gonna replace it with this. 
with this white thing on it. Oh gosh, hope it works. From the right angle, I can believe it. Definitely, he'll pick it up and he'll still think Douglas is in there. Well, he's awfully close. He I'm gonna prank call him one more time. And this is gonna be, this is gonna be it. Okay. We'll try to get him away from the crate so we can do the swip and swatch. Okay, I'll do the talk, you do the swip and swatch. It's, a, it's close it enough. Really. It's okay. This is the closest I've been to Douglas in the past two years. Okay, guys. I'm about to be reunited with my little baby boy, Douglas. Douglas. Okay, I'm not gonna talk to him yet. Right. This, this one will definitely work. Hi, hello. Uh, this is Albert from Roblox. And I wanted to let you know that you've been chosen to be a grand participant in our new experiment. Okay, there's a lot of interesting things going on in Roblox right now. Hop in. Yeah, th uh, this experiment will involve, um... Pee pee poo poo pee pee <laughs> Oh, come on now, what the heck? Hey, you know you punk little kids need to stop prank phone calling people, all right? I'm gonna... I can trace this number, I can find you. It's funny, all right? There's a perfect chance. Now it's now or never. Hurry. You might come back any time. Douglas. Okay, let's, let's go, go, go. Okay. Get the heck out of here. Okay. I think he smells you. Okay, this is it. Okay, Douglas, Spy Ninjas, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. You're about to be on camera, Douglas. Don't be shy. <laughs> Douglas, it's been so long. I've been waiting to meet you my whole life in Vegas for you to be in the Spy Ninja safe house. Douglas, I'd like to introduce you to my friends for the first time here at Melvin, Regina, and all the Spy Ninjas at home to the Spy Ninjas. Douglas, Douglas, I really miss you. The hackers, they don't know how to treat you. They call you names. Enough. A dog like you is man. What the heck? Du uh, Douglas! What? Whoa, he grew. Douglas? Douglas. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Who, who the heck is this? Who the heck are you? Where did all his wrinkles go? But he's not plump at all. No, instead, Doug he looks even more familiar. This isn't just a random dog. This is a dog that we've dealt with before. Wait, this isn't Douglas? Dude, you're right, Melvin. This looks like that one dog that one time. The hacker's dog. <gasps> Jack! So you're telling me Casey, Chad's brother, also has Jack, the hacker dog? Oh, he wants to come out! Well, Jack, you're not Douglas, though. What'd you do with Douglas? Oh, okay, okay. Well, well, this isn't right, then. We took the wrong dog. Shoot, we, uh, he wants to get out. Well, what do we do? I don't know. I mean, I guess we just got to return it, right? But he's with an evil owner. That's right. He needs to be in a better house like ours, like the Spy Ninja safe house. And then, we, and then we can get Douglas and he can have a play date with him every single day, right? <laughs> he wants to go back. You don't like this hacker guy, right? Casey Chad's evil brother. Oh! Oh my gosh! Hey! Dude! What the heck, man? Oh. What? Hey, man, what the heck is wrong with you? Well, you stole my dog. We didn't really steal your dog. We didn't mean to. Listen, boy, you stole my dog, Douglas. You've also been the guy creeping into our safe house every night. And you, you're Chad's brother, aren't you? Yeah. Casey. Casey. Melvin, where's the picture? Oh, Melvin. 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 Melvin, get up, man. Casey's here. Come on. We got to... Get the, get the picture of him so we can compare if that's really him. Yeah, yeah. Is that him? Is that him? Huh. <sighs> well, it's kind of similar. The neck isn't long enough, but you know what? You knocked me out. I don't care if it's Casey or not. Yeah. <laughs> get him, get him. Hey, right. we're going to reveal that you are Casey, Chad's brother. Take off his hat. Get it out of here. All right, let's see who you are. Face reveal, take off those sunglasses. Here, ah, come on, man. Ah, what? Ah, what the heck? Ah, what? Ah, what's wrong with your eyes? Oh ah, my gosh, what the heck? Wait a second. Does that look that, like Casey? Is that Casey? No. It does not look like him No. At all. Dude, yeah, this is a weird guy in a mask. Who are you anyways? 
I'm not Casey. Yeah, well then, who are you? Hey, Melvin. How's Flukas doing? Flukas? How do you know about Flukas? <laughs> you enjoy those packages you received? You mean all those presents we've been receiving? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, how do you know about the presents? Wait a minute. It can't be. No. No. I'm Chad's secret admirer. Oh! Let him go. He didn't have Douglas. We were wrong. I think we owe Chad an apology, man. He, we that, don't. We said Chad's brother was evil. I thought that guy was Chad's brother. That dude is evil, but he's not Chad's brother. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. We have been talking bad about Casey the whole time. And he, oh. he doesn't have Douglas. So that creepy dude revealed that he's the secret admirer. It's no secret that he's creepy. He's a secret admirer and a creepy dude? He's a... Creepy admirer? admirer? Oh uh, my gosh! See, we, we, well, he cares about pets though, because he gave us a turtle and he's taking care no, of it. No, I don't know! Well, that's what I mean though. We at least have to apologize to Chad, because that's not his real brother. His real brother probably is nice. His real brother is still out there, actually. Yeah, he's somewhere in Vegas. Chad and V are looking for him right now. That would be cool to meet the real Casey, the nice Casey. If he's still even nice, because what if they're still working together? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? We don't know anything about the real Casey. Well, Daniel, I'm sorry that we didn't find Douglas. We'll One. never find Douglas again. Hey, no. He's gone forever. One of these days, we're gonna find him. I'll put 10,000 bucks on it that we'll never find him. No, no, uh, Spy Ninjas, I promise you, we're gonna find Douglas. 10,000 bucks? Or else I'll owe you $10,000. All right, if we don't find him, that's my money. That's how much I believe we're gonna find him. So we need to get back to the safe house and feed Flukas. Because now we know that he's from this creepy admirer. We gotta make sure he lives the best life he can. Well guys, tomorrow we are gonna find Casey. So make sure you subscribe to Chad's channel to see that video. And also, subscribe to mine while you're at it. Below the video, there's a button that says subscribe. Let me ask you something, is it red? If it is, you have to click it and make it gray. It's free, just do it. Can't believe he got away. We're gonna find Douglas too. Tomorrow is gonna be the start of it all. Let's do a kick bump out. Kick, kick bump! bump.